what is going on boys stats here we're back with another video and today we're going to be covering all of the feature premiere news that we got earlier today in regards to the player overalls for offline franchise gameplay now do keep in mind those overalls that you did see are for offline and franchise only that is not the diamond dynasty ratings that you guys are going to see we'll probably see the diamond dynasty ratings a little bit further down the line probably right before the game is out on full release on March 24th. Now, originally in this stream, I wasn't really interested because I thought they were just going to cover all of the overalls for every team in which they did. But they also threw in a lot of information in regards to Diamond Dynasty. Now, in this video, I want to cover all of the news that we saw for Diamond Dynasty. And believe it or not, it was a lot of news. I was very surprised by this. Um, if you guys want to see the overalls, that stream is available on their Twitch page I'm not going to be covering that in this video because we are Diamond Dynasty players around here. But if you're offline and a franchise person, just check it out. It is on their Twitch page. So before we get into the news, if you guys are new around here, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, follow me on Twitter. That link is in the description and to the right of me. Also, Underdog Fantasy, if you guys are new to the app, be sure to check it out and use code SNODS at checkout to double your first deposit up to $100. All of that info will be in the description down below. Okay, so the first big news that we got from the stream, and I cannot tell you how excited I am for this, World Baseball Classic is going to be in the game. Here's a screenshot of all the teams that are in the WBC World Baseball Classic. And yes, we're gonna be seeing a lot of good players. They did confirm that we're going to be getting at least one player from each one of these teams. And let me tell you, we're going to see a lot of players that we've never seen in an MLB The Show title ever. We're gonna be getting a lot of new players from this program. So I'm very excited to see what they do with this. Now in the stream, it did seem like the World Baseball Classic is going to be mainly based out of Diamond Dynasty. There's going to be a program apparently. You're gonna be able to get grind through the program and get players through there. There's pre-order information that they leaked. We'll cover that here in a minute. You can get players from there. And unfortunately, it doesn't sound like there's going to be a game mode that is dedicated just to the World Baseball Classic. I feel like that could have been really cool for offline players, but I don't think that's going to be a thing this year. But they did reveal some of the pre-order perks that you guys will be able to get if you pre-order the Derek Jeter version of the game. And they showed us what the Diamond Choice player pack is going to be. Also, they showed us what the Diamond Jersey pack is going to be. So they had a little World Baseball Classic preview. And here's a look of all of the jerseys that you guys can get. It's every single team that's in the World Baseball Classic. And you get to choose from one of those. And here's what those packs are going to be looking like. On the far right, of course, we got the World Baseball Classic uniforms. Choice up to, I think you get one item from that. Yeah. And then in the middle there, it says World Baseball Classic Players. You choose one of your choice. And then on the far left, it says Around the World Choice of One Player. Now, I'm not really sure what the difference is between these packs, but this apparently is what we're getting for the pre-order bonus. So really excited to see that. I cannot believe that they got a whole program dedicated just to the WBC. It's going to be really cool. Now, in the stream, they did not let us know what players we're going to see. But if you guys go on MLB The Show's website, it has this it says you will face tough decisions at every position as you build your diamond dynasty squad especially with these world series world series world baseball classic flashback player items coming to mlb the show 23 now it says world baseball classic flashback so i'm assuming we're going to be getting world baseball classic flashback cards from players that were in the classic from previous years and then we're also going to be getting world baseball classic players from current world baseball classic players so like, again, we're going to be seeing a lot of players that we have never seen in the game before. So they listed all of these players at first base. We got Miggy from Team Venezuela, Freddie Freeman from Canada, Paul Goldschmidt, USA, Nolan Arenado, Team USA. You got Manny Machado from the DR, Yoan Mancata from Cuba, Ronald Acuna from Venezuela. You got Yusuke Mons Mosago from Team China. We've never seen that guy. This could be good. Kyle Tucker, Team USA. Luis Robert from Cuba. You got Yu Darvish from Japan, Sandy Alcantara from the DR, and Adam Wainwright. This is just a short list of players that we're going to be seeing in this game. Also, before we move on, if you guys are not tuning into these Twitch streams from SDS, make sure you do that. You, If you do that and you connect your account to your SDS uh, MLB The Show account, you will be able to get these Twitch drops. I think it's every 30 minutes or so you get these packs, and it basically all it is just a standard pack. And I mean, if you're no money spent and you want to rack up some packs on day one, 
these Twitch drops are huge. Just by that stream alone, it was like two and a half hours. I was able to rack up six of these bad boys, and that's not including the Twitch packs that I already have from previous streams. So anytime SDS ever streams, be sure to join their stream so you can claim these bad boys. It's completely free. You don't even have to watch the stream. You just have to have it up on your computer or your phone, whatever it is. But yeah, make sure you capitalize on that. Next thing revealed was another captain card and it was the hitters captain for the Houston Astros. I can't believe that they released the Astros captain, but it's Jose Altuve. Jose Altuve had a really good 99 overall card at the end of the year for 22. And now he's starting off day one with a 92 overall captain card. And again, this card's going to get boosted with the tier three boost of the Astros theme team. It was cool to see this captain card. They did not reveal the attributes for this card, but 92 overall early on, it's going to be a beast card. He's got the diamond hitting. He's got bronze fielding, but he plays second, so it's not a big deal. It was cool to see that. I can't wait to see what all these captain cards are going to be for each team. You have to also keep in mind, there's going to be a hitting captain and a pitching captain. So we'll see who it is. They also showed us this 99 overall Ricky Henderson that's going to be available on day one. Now, let's talk about this card. Card art, L. Biggest L I've ever seen. Now, I don't think this is the final copy of the card art though. There's no way they're gonna let this go into the game. I mean, this is all they showed us. They were just letting us know, hey, set one, 99 overall, you're gonna be getting a Ricky Henderson. They didn't tell us how we're going to get it. They didn't tell us how easy it's going to we'll be able to get him. They didn't show us his attributes, nothing. So that leads me to think that this card is not complete. Um, this card art is horrible. It's literally just a picture of him with a Gaussian blur in the background. I could do better than that. So I don't get scared. I don't think this is the final copy of that card art. But yes, Ricky Henderson, 99 overall is going to be one of the very few 99 overalls that we're going to be able to get on day one. So that was all the news, but I do want to talk about this last but not least. If you guys go on the San Diego Padres Twitter page, they dropped this Diamond Club Tops Now card series that they dropped for uh, baseball cards. And they showed us the Manny Machado Tops Now Diamond Club card and the Fernando Tatis. But looking at this card, if we look in the right-hand corner, we got the diamond logo. It looks very MLB The Show-ish, if you ask me. So I feel like this card art that we're seeing might be a series, a program series that we're gonna be seeing in our game this year. So to me, I feel like this card art is a W for sure. It's not confirmed, but I feel like this card art would be really cool in the game. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for me. Uh, nice short and sweet, but I did want to make a video covering everything that was in that stream That was a very long stream So it was probably really hard for everybody to sit through the entire thing But those are all the big things that we got we did get a lot of diamond dynasty information out of that stream So maybe I mean especially if you're getting twitch packs out of it Maybe we should you know tune into each one of these streams I feel like they're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of diamond dynasty in each one of those as that is their biggest game mode in the game so World Baseball Classic promo is going to be in the game, and I cannot wait to see what kind of players you know we're going to be getting an Otani card. I mean, Mike Trout, you, we got to have these cards in the game, so it's going to be really exciting to see. That's going to be it for me. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe. Leave a like on the video. I appreciate you guys joining in here. Also, before we end this, I am now streaming. I don't stream every single day, but I stream when I can. I've got a playlist that's dedicated just to the streams that I have. So if you guys were not able to make those streams, check out the playlist. We've got all the streams in there. Uh, we're gonna be streaming and recording No Money Spent episode one uh, when the game releases early on March 24th. So if you guys wanna join that, please feel free to drop in and say what's up. We're gonna have a good time this year. But that's going to be it for me. I'm out of here. Peace.